In the future, I'd like to study both uh, physics or mathematics and computer science. Any Internet of Things device can be controlled using this technology. The way I thought to um, recover this phosphate is using chemical precipitation. Probably hundreds of hours going into this. Acquiring the Science Classroom is a new e-learning course for teachers produced by Intel Teach Element Series. It has just recently been Australianised. Inquiry in the Science Classroom course can help teachers in the classroom, especially with Australian curriculum, because it is an inquiry-based um, program, and that is at the core of the Australian curriculum. The course uses a range of classroom examples and scenarios to illustrate how inquiry is happening and how teachers can use that to inspire and engage their students. In a lot of traditional education, you have information at the centre of, of the learning and so there's an emphasis on, on learning a whole bunch of things. In an inquiry-based system, you tend to start with a problem at the centre of your learning and, and then around the outside of that problem, that's where the information and the learning comes in. So the relevance really is getting to the end of the problem rather than just accumulating a lot of knowledge. We're teaching them how to form questions and how to ask questions and we get them to engage with what they're actually good at and what they like doing to start with. I think that's really important because if they, they don't like what they're doing they won't engage with it so they can start um, to form their own questions um, from real life problems. I think that's the key to tap into something they really enjoy. We're trying to attract more students to study science and now with technology um, they can actually study any science they like, they can access information that was never able to be accessed before and um, it's all more and more out there at their fingertips. So things that they couldn't do even five years ago you can do now in the science area. So it's very exciting and science is actually making that happen. We're looking um, in the science side of things of get, getting students to design their own experiments, conduct those experiments and, and when you take that approach often you need to then revisit and redesign your experiment and, um, and do the whole thing again before you can actually get meaningful results. It's a process that's sometimes quite involved. At a state-based level we have all the science teacher associations hosting their science fairs or their science talent searches as they're called. On the national level we have programs like the CSIRO Crest Awards and both the state-based and the Crest Awards feed into our prestigious science um, competition called the BHP Bulletin Science and Engineering Fair. From there, we select students that will then go on to the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, which gives them this once-in-a-lifetime experience and connect with peers from around the globe. But for teachers to do that, they need the confidence, and the course actually will give them that confidence. It will give them the information they need to manage that in the classroom effectively. It will give them some support material that they can share with their students so they, the students themselves, can work their way through that and know what they need to achieve as well, regardless of the topic that they are investigating.